So today we have yet again another version of dumplings and this one is done with lamb and zucchini which I found was quite unique and um, the technique with these kind of like long finger pot stickers is kind of like a stretch and pull method. So I found it quite unique and I think that you guys will um, as well. So to start off, we're making our own dough, um, two cups of all purpose flour, a dash of salt. And with pot sticker dough, you, you kind of want it to be fairly dry. So I'm gonna say a little bit over three quarters of a cup of water. But if you can see what I'm doing right now, I'm kind of getting it into like a flaky kind of sandy stage and then adding little bits of water at a time just until the dough comes together into a ball and then really just kneading it for like five to six minutes. It takes a while um, until the ball gets nice and firm and smooth. So while that rests, I'm going to create this easy uh, dumpling filling mixture. I have a fairly big zucchini right here that I'm going to grate with a cheese grater. Um, you can use a machine uh, if you want to, and then I'll do about a half of that and put about a quarter teaspoon of salt all over it and set it aside so that some of that water will release from the zucchini. So for the lamb, it is very difficult to mimic that lamb flavor. So the easiest way is to kind of marinate lamb in its typical spices, and that typical spice is going to be cumin. And um, a recipe is gonna be down below, but I had some uh, garlic powder, some onion powder. This is a half a teaspoon of cumin to about, uh, this was one cup of a vegan beef crumble. Uh, I'm gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of salt, uh, some uh, cooking wine, just Chinese cooking wine, uh, ginger, a pinch of white pepper, and then also a little bit of um, sesame oil and just uh, kind of mix that all together and then let it marinate for about uh, 30 minutes or so. So after about 30 minutes or so, the zucchini will be aching to get rid of all of that liquid. So just make sure to squeeze it really well because you do not want to make your dumplings soggy. So this dough has been resting for just about an hour and you just wanna knead it for a couple of minutes. And honestly, this dough is so dry that you're not going to, it's not really gonna to stick to your hands. So sometimes I'll use a little bit of oil, but the, the oil kind of sometimes also makes it too slick. So be careful about that, um, turn it into a stick and then we will divide this up into 12 equal balls.
So we're gonna shape these dough pieces into rectangles first and um, just roll it out into a general rectangular shape. I'd say maybe like six by four inches, but you're essentially gonna stick right around one to two tablespoons of filling um, in here. I didn't do too good of a job to show this here, but make sure to pinch the sides so none of the filling goes loose. And this long shape is sort of what makes that kind of um, pot sticker shape as well. So I've brushed these guys all with a little bit of vegetable oil and there is a reason I am stacking them into three, okay? Cause that's how we're going to cook them afterwards. So let those rest for right around 30 minutes to an hour actually, because what we're going to do is grab them by three and then kind of stretch them out uh, as we're putting it into just a little bit of oil uh, to fry. So I'd say two to three minutes on medium high heat and it should kind of get that way. Now, because the worry is um, we did have raw dough before and you're just sticking it into some oil, a lot of the times it might not be fully cooked. So just put a couple tablespoons of water in there and then put a lid on this um, really, really quickly and that should cook up the rest of the dough. And if you have any water left over, like I did because I added way too much, um, just uh, open up the lid and then make sure that the water finishes evaporating so that you'll get a crispy crust on both sides. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys, these lamb and zucchini pot stickers. And um, I really enjoyed making this recipe because it goes to show you how versatile, but also like how casual and how humble the uh, dumpling is because it's essentially, you know, a little bit of meat because meat is expensive and whatever kind of like garden vegetables you have growing or that you have selling in your local grocery store, you can just stick it together and create something lovely like this. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed that recipe. And as usual, if you wanna see more recipes like this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you all again next time. Bye.